AAA says just about as many Americans will be traveling this Thanksgiving as they did before the pandemic. In fact, about a 13% increase over last year. More than 53 million Americans will be traveling between November 24th and the 28th. NBC 15's Ken McGrath joins us now. Ken, a vast majority of those traveling will be hitting the roads. Yeah, Greg, that's right. Now, whether you're flying or driving, planning ahead, it makes a big difference. Clay Ingram with AAA wants to get his message out to everyone traveling this upcoming Thanksgiving holiday. Planning ahead will, will save you some money if you're flying. Um, it will save you some frustration if you're driving uh, to make sure that you're driving at the time when maybe the, the it's not the peak travel time when in other words the roads aren't quite as congested. Ingram says with more cars being on the road drivers will be closer to you than usual and your margin of error is going to be less. Getting frustrated because the traffic's not moving and you know, if we're not careful, that can turn into a, a case of road rage. AAA reports public health officials have given Americans the green light to enjoy the holidays with family and friends this year. Coronavirus cases in our country have been largely declining since the surge over the summer. But caution. To look at the roller coaster epidemiologic curve to know that when you're coming down the mountain, you're usually about to go back up another one. And health experts, they say that many people, they're still hesitant to gather with loved ones who have gotten their shot. In a recent Harris poll released, it finds that 50% of vaccinated people are extremely or considerably hesitant to spend the holidays with unvaccinated family members or friends. Kim.